I want to introduce you to Charleston, South Carolina Police Chief Luther Reynolds. He grew up in Montgomery County and he actually served in the police department there for nearly 30 years. This week, Reynolds returned to the DMV to take his very first steps on a prosthetic leg. It's the replacement that doctors had to add to save his life. Here's our Jay Korf with this powerful story. Mike Corcoran of Medical Center Orthotics and Prosthetics in Silver Spring, Maryland, is fine-tuning a state-of-the-art titanium leg. You're going to kind of see the whole picture here. This remarkable device going to a public servant who recently faced his own mortality. I'm grateful that the cancer's gone and, and that I have a chance, you know, and that I'm in the fight. For close to three decades, Luther Reynolds worked in the Montgomery County Police Department, ascending to assistant police chief. Most of my life, I grew up in Maryland. Now he's the top cop in Charleston, South Carolina. But in January, doctors had to amputate Chief Reynolds' entire right leg to save his life from a rare and aggressive form of cancer. Sarcoma is rare and it's brutal and it's nasty, and that's what I've learned. After surviving 20 hours of surgery, this soft-spoken, deeply committed community leader returned this week to Maryland to begin again. I'm determined to walk again. And how incredible is that to, to even consider? Right? Day one, his fitting. This alignment here is critical. Which must be precise to walk correctly. To have something underneath me, I, I like the idea of having another foot. After more than an hour of tweaks and tests. You OK? Yeah, that's more like it. The device went back to the shop for fine tuning. The next day, Reynolds would face another life-affirming milestone. You tell me when that's getting too tight on you. Day two, the moment he, his old friends, and his wife have been waiting for, his first steps on a new leg. Well, the first steps are horrible, but don't worry. And he didn't stop there, going again and again and again. Mike Corcoran even insisting no one has ever walked so well, so quickly, on such a sophisticated prosthesis. That was amazing, it was amazing. The fact that, uh, that I even have an opportunity to do this is uh, it's humbling. Chief Luther Reynolds, a man of unwavering faith, believes he was called to lead. So he pushes on for the people of Charleston, thanks to the expertise, guidance, and support of his friends in Maryland. I'm Jay Korf for 7 News.